All right, so good day. In terms of getting started with Java, we're definitely going to need to install a few um, software. All right, so first of all, we need to get ourselves a development environment. So we need one of these tools to basically write and compile and run our Java programs. All right. Now, two of the more popular ones would be the Eclipse and NetBeans. My preference, I don't really have a, a major preference, but I do use NetBeans more than I use Eclipse, all right? And there are also online compilers that are available. And these are two listed here. So it's your online GDB and your JDoodle. So you can use those as well in terms of as online compiler no other development environments are available for writing your java program as well and these are a few so if you find that you are more comfortable or you prefer these more than the eclipse and the intellij and the netbeans then you can go ahead and, and work with these it really don't matter which ide you use the, the difference is not that major all right but more importantly now you need to download what we call the java development kit now this is very very important for you to write and compile well basically for you to compile your your java programs so the JDK is a software development environment, right? It is an integrated environment in a sense where, so once you download the, the JDK, it gives you the ability to compile, interpret, and debug your Java program. So without saying, too much more about this we'll just go straight into downloading the JDK and as well as downloading one or two of the of the IDEs that we'll need to create or to write our Java program All right. so we'll go directly to our browser and we'll type JDK I guess so we'll click on JDK download now I'm going to the link directly at the top so that's the www.oracle.com link where it says Java SE downloads so I'll just click on that now at the top it is showing me the latest version to date of the Java SE and Java SE is basically the JDK so the SE represents standard edition so currently Java standard edition 14 is available to us so if you look here you will see under where it says Oracle JDK you'll see JDK download you just click on that to download all right so it's giving us some important licensing information all right so ensure that you read through all right now so it's asking us which system or which computer which operating system we are downloading the jdk for now if you are a mac os user then you go for the mac os installer all right if you are using a Windows 64 machine like I am, then you want to go for the Windows 64 installer. All right, so you just click to download that. Now you're basically agreeing or accepting the terms that Oracle set out for you to download and use this software on your computer. So you will agree that you did review all right then so you can go ahead and just click and review the licensing agreement and then you click to say that you have reviewed it and then you just click to download
all right so you save so you select any area on your computer where you want to save the jdk and then you just click on save all right now if you are getting a message where it's basically asking if you want to keep the software or continue with the download because of security reasons you can go ahead and say keep now installation is pretty straightforward just like installing any other software all right so i'll just navigate to where the software was downloaded and all you need to do now is just double click you'd say yes all right no because i have the software installed on my computer already I would have to uninstall and then reinstall but the process is pretty straightforward so you just go to your browser type in jdk download it will take you to the well the first link that is there should take you to the oracle website where you will download let me just click on new here where you will download the version of your choice on let's start the version you'll download the one that corresponds to your operating system so if you're a windows user you go to the windows download mac user go to the mac download if you're using linux then you go with the linux download all right and then as i say installation is pretty straightforward now once you would have installed the jdk on your system you want to now go ahead and download an IDE where you can actually use it to now write and run your Java program. So let's see where we're going with Eclipse. All right, so you just type in Eclipse. All right, now it says www.eclipse.org right you don't want to get the download from there i could just simply click on the download option all right and again it is detecting that my computer is a 64-bit windows machine so it gives me the option here i'll just click download all right so i'll download I'll save my download and again it's asking me if I want to keep you might not get this message but for some security reasons I'm getting it on my side so I click on keep and once that is finished then you just go ahead and download sorry you just go ahead and install all right let's say you want to download NetBeans you say NetBeans. All right, and something that has happened, I guess you can say pretty recently, is that Apache has taken over the control for, for NetBeans. All right, so it's now Apache NetBeans. So you can see NetBeans.org click now it is telling us right here where it says new apache netbeans ide all right you can go ahead and just hit the download button it will redirect you to this web page all right and you can just go ahead where it says apache netbeans 12 you can go ahead and you just click the download all right it's giving you options and again 
my computer is a 64-bit Windows machine so I'll definitely go for the 64-bit version all right all right so this is the link right here so I click on that and then I just save and again the installation is is pretty straightforward all right what i'll do is i'll uninstall the netbeans that is currently running on my computer and then i'll make a follow-up video to this one or what you can do is persons can request whether or not you want me to make a follow-up video to this one just in case you're having any form of issues or you can just post in the comments whether or not you're having issues installing NetBeans, Eclipse or the JDK and I will go right ahead and just create a follow-up video all right so happy programming with Java thank you